Hey guys, what is up? Red Pet Mining here. How you guys all doing? Hope you all doing really well and have a really great day. In this video, I want to test my RTX 3090s in Windows because I want to see what the memory temperatures are. Because you guys have been asking in the previous video about when I did this 3090 rig in the X12 Ultra Octo Miner case here, and it's been going really well. It's been going really good, but I don't know what the memory temperatures are. And you guys can see generally right now in terms of the core temperatures, that's what we're getting in the server case. And this is the mega hash that we are able to achieve. I will put up on the screen here what my overclock settings are in Hive OS, uh, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Also, I have the absolute core clock enabled as well. And we dropped about, uh, I would say about 100 watts or 200 watts from the wall from what we had in the previous video. So that whole Octominer server case with the five like 140 mil delta fans are taking about 2,120 watts altogether. So I would say maybe another 120 watts, maybe more for the fans and maybe another 100 or 100 or 200 watts for the other stuff in the server case here. Maybe the inefficiency of the power supplies. I'm not quite sure. I'll show you again in Hive OS what the power consumption is and you guys can see uh, what the delta is compared to what we got here at the wall. Okay, anyways, let's get started. I need to install Windows. So I have the Windows on a USB stick here and I'm gonna be taking out the SSD that I have in here because I don't wanna overwrite my Hive OS SSD and I'm gonna replace it with this one terabyte SSD instead for, uh, for Windows, okay? So I, I don't know how much virtual memory we're gonna be needing for six RTX 3090s, so that's gonna be interesting. So anyways, guys, let me go ahead and shut her down and let's install Windows. Let's go. It's been a while since I installed Windows on a mining rig just to see the memory temperatures. I know I did it before with 3080s, but now I'm gonna be doing it with, with 3090s. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's see if this boots into my Windows uh, installation ISO here. Okay, I think it's booting into Windows. Oh yeah, it's, uh, it, this shows up because of uh, the UEFI mode. Uh, that I, I burned this ISO. All right, let's see if it goes into the installation screen. It looks like it will in a second here. Perfect. Okay, gonna hit next, install now. Windows is starting, setup is starting. Man, it's, yeah, definitely been a while since I've seen this screen. I used to be a, all Windows miner back in the day, and now I've been using Hive OS for the past, I would say, uh, for the past year, uh, hardcore. So Windows 10 Pro, all right, next. And uh, let's see here, uh, next, accept, next. Windows custom, all right, I'm just gonna delete all this. And we're gonna refresh, because uh, I think this SSD has been used before. Then we're gonna hit next. And uh, we're gonna see how long this takes. I mean, yeah, I mean, doing Hive OS or, you know, simple mining or a Linux mining operating system, it, it takes mere minutes <laughs> to do. But with Windows, it's probably going to take me a good half an hour to get all the uh, settings all dialed in, software downloaded, and uh, we can see what the memory temperature is. All right, guys, we'll wait for this. Almost there. Right? No? Maybe not. Oh, that's good. All right, installing updates. Okay, and we're done. We're done, perfect. Okay, let's see what happens here. I uh, probably have to do the whole intro thing. <laughs> I hope it's okay I have the 3090s like plugged in like in, while installing Windows. I guess we'll see what happens. All right, finally. All right, I gotta go through this whole thing. Uh, give me a sec. Oh my God, this is brutal. I just wanna mention that I hope 
I mean, I don't really hope, it doesn't really matter that <laughs> maybe if you guys appreciate me doing this test just to see what the memory temperatures are <laughs> that <laughs> we have to install windows and I had to take down my rig from mining uh, for I guess an hour, maybe more. It seems like, oh man, I mean, to be honest, it only took about, I would say, 10 minutes to install windows. Uh, we're at this point right now, so it's not too bad, but uh, I guess we'll see another, uh, I guess another 10 minutes or so, then we can start mining. Yeah. All right, just, just give me a sec, guys. All right, next, I'm doing windows updates. Oh yeah, a lot of drivers to install, especially for the mother, I, I wonder if the Octominer motherboard uh, or if Windows Update will be able to find some of these drivers automatically. Okay, well, we're gonna see in probably an hour. Okay, while that's going, I'm gonna see if I can transform a mining rig in one of my older mining frames into one of my new 12 GPU mining frames. As you guys know, I wanna go with all of these. So let's see if I can do one of these 3070 rigs before the Windows Update finishes. All right, let's see. Yes, it turns on. Okay, no smoke. And is the Windows update done yet? No, it's not. <laughs> oh man. So anyways guys, that took me about 30 minutes to swap a rig, one of my old rigs, or on an old frame onto one of my 12 GPU mining frames, as you guys can see. And uh, yeah, I am now happy. This is a RTX 3070 rig, and that's looking good. Now, I have three more to fill. I wonder if I should do another one because this, this, this is still updating. Oh, and now it's frozen. Okay, something's, oh, no, it looks like it's updating the drivers and stuff now. Okay, well, I'm gonna let this go. Maybe I will do another one, guys. I'm, yeah, I, I just, I can't do anything until this is done installing Windows, and uh, I gotta install hardware info, and also change the virtual memory, and uh, I don't know, get T-Rex Miner installed, MSI Afterburner, all that stuff. I guess it's kind of unfair because this Octominer is a Celeron G3930 with uh, four gigs of RAM, so that's, uh, I think that's why it's pretty slow. I was able to do another RTX 3070 rig in the same time when this rig was updating. I, oh man, it took a long time, but my friends, it's all done. Now, the point of this video is to see the memory temperatures of these RTX 3090s. Now, just to show you guys, right now, the ambient temperature in my basement here is about 90 Fahrenheit, okay? So you know that, so it's, it's decently warm right now. So we're gonna see how the memory temperatures are gonna be. And let me just start up Ethermine here. We're gonna right click, run as administrator because I am using the absolute core clock in Windows here. I already added it to the batch file. So let me just show you guys what I did here. So I added the initial string of where the miner was in my downloads folder. Uh, right before the t.rex.exe so that we can run it as administrator. Now, the rest of the stuff, pretty self, normal, just use whatever pool that you're using and uh, I'm using the whatever wallet is here initially from T-Rex. Now, the main thing I'm using here is, is the dash dash lock dash C clock. 1100, so same as I did in Hive OS and now I'm doing the dash dash M clock 1100 so this would be half of what it would be in Hive OS. So I did, uh, I think I did 2100, but I'm doing 1100 here. And then we did a fan 80%. I, I have a feeling 80% will be fine. Some people do 100 on their 30, 90s, uh, depending if it's on an open air, which I'll explain later. We'll see how the temperatures will be. And I did PL of 100 because uh, we're using absolute core clock. It's gonna lock the voltage anyway. Okay, so right off the bat, we are getting 725 mega hash, exact same thing that we were getting in Hive OS. Yeah, so exact same hash rates. Now, you guys can see, 
in T-Rex Miner here, we can see the memory temperatures now. Uh, so I did install hardware info and I did verify that this second column here of temperatures is the memory junction temperature, okay? And so, yeah, this is all we need to know right here. So we got ADC, uh, 82, 82, 82, 84, 82. So it looks like it's still climbing. Obviously, we just started mining. All right, so it's been one minute in. So let's do some intervals here. I will come back at about five minutes and then 10 minutes and then, I don't know, 20 minutes. And then we'll see how the memory temperatures will be at those times. All right, guys. And also, I guess I'll show you the power consumption. It's pretty much the same that we were getting in Hive OS. All right, just to show you guys earlier. Okay, so be right back in a couple minutes. All right, it's been about five minutes now and I think we're throttling. I don't know why we're throttling because uh, we were fine in Hive OS. You guys saw earlier when I had it on Hive OS and uh, but anyways the memory temperature we are getting 86 now 86 uh, 88 84 92 all right that's the one that's kind of throttling at 118 and uh, we got uh, as well as 86 C so I mean still very well under the 100 Celsius on the memory temperature so that's I mean these are really good numbers to be honest if we're comparing it to other 3090s that I've seen out there, like my Asus Strix, uh, or even my 3080s, uh, the 3090s here are doing pretty good, the EVGA ones specifically. So these must have really good, decent pads. But also another factor is, oh, it looks like the hash rate is going up now. That's weird. Or was going up, so I mean, all right, well, we're gonna come back at like 10 minutes. Things look like they are going up in terms of the memory temperatures. Uh, yeah, I don't know, it seems kind of uh, pretty weird. Anyways, we'll be right back. Okay, we are 10 minutes in now, and here are the mega hash numbers and also the memory temperatures. So it seems like we are at the same in terms of the mega hash number and then the memory temperatures. I mean, yeah, looks like the highest one here that we have is the 90 or 92 C degrees Celsius, okay? So it looks like I jumped back down to 90. And yeah, I mean, that's good. 10 minutes in, 11 minutes in now. So, I mean, I'm gonna let this go a lot longer. I'll come back maybe a little bit later just to see if uh, the temperatures will go up. but. Uh, just to show you guys, my ambient right now is 90, and I do have a few of my mining rigs on in my basement here, so it's it's a little bit toasty in here. I do have both of my exhaust fans going right now, but let's just say if I were to move these 3090s onto an open airframe, do you guys think the memory temperatures would be a lot higher? Yes or no? Let me know down below. So it seems like using 3090s in a server case application really helps with the memory temperatures. Obviously, I mean, we don't know about having them in open air, but I'm going to assume because I, have a, I do have a 3090 that's over here. This is a 3090 and I do have, there is a bunch of heat coming from a 3070 Ti touching this 3090. And so my Asus Strix 3090 right here is only able to get about 109, 110 mega hash at the moment. And yeah, so it's it's not doing well. But imagine if I had six 3090s in one rig, open airframe style, I, I think that would be quite hot. So reasoning because I have five of these 140 mil Delta fans that is pulling you know air through, uh, through the cards and then out the back there and out my exhaust fan. I think that this application this way for these 3090s is Really helping a lot like I don't know. Let me know what you guys think But here is the temperatures right now So this is something that I had a few of you guys ask in the last video You know, what are the what are the memory temperatures red panda? What are the memory temperatures? And so here they are guys here are the memory temperatures Let me know your thoughts and uh, you know what, I'm gonna let this go for another seven minutes and we'll see how it looks like. Okay, we are 31 minutes in now, not 20 minutes. I decided to wait another 10 minutes. 
So we have uh, the exact same memory temperatures here. Yeah, to be honest, I think the EVGA RTX 3090s, the For the Win 3 editions, are amazing cards uh, in terms of uh, just the memory temperatures and the temperatures and the hash rate. Uh, these don't seem to throttle in a server case, of course. If I were to do it in an open airframe, which I mentioned before, it would probably throttle in terms of the uh, the hash rate would go lower because of the memory temperatures would probably exceed over 95, may, probably 100 to be honest, in an open airframe, uh, which I know that I, I'm having that issue with uh, an Asus Strix 3090. That was definitely a fun time trying to get Windows installed on this OctoMiner. I'll have to say that I don't recommend it. It's it's gonna take forever and just just learn how to do HiveOS on, uh, especially if you do server cases style. It's just much easier to manage and I think just a lot more stable in my opinion than in Windows. But I mean, you can do Windows for mining. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with Windows. It's just a, a lot of initial setup to get it going versus uh, something else. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, let me know your thoughts and all that good stuff. If there's anything else you want me to test, let me know down below and I will do it. I will do whatever you guys say. All right, have a good one and peace out.